Welcome to another edition of Techno Blub. I'm Eben Wilkins and I'm Bruce John. And today we're going to be talking about the WWDC 2017, the big Apple event of the year. Yes, Apple's developer conference. All right. So what are we talking about first? Okay, so... Um, overall opinion first. Overall opinion. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not spoil it. <laughs> let's, let's go one by one. Okay, let's, okay. Let's start All with right. uh, iOS and the apps. iOS. Let's All right. start iOS. iOS. What, what did I do to iOS? All right. So they did some refining of the interfaces, mm -hmm. um, upgrades to Apple Pay, iMessaging. We're going to integrate iMessage in an Apple Pay so right. you can send money directly to your contacts. Right. Um, not, nothing extravagant. Yeah. I, you're going to be hearing that throughout this video. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't know. You're going to see on the internet like everybody's open arms about WWDC this year. But there is a lot of up updates. Mm -hmm. But the substance to the updates I find quite... Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically incremental. It's something Microsoft would do on a on a on a Tuesday <laughs> patch, <laughs> patch Tuesday update. <laughs> yeah. So for mm -hmm. iOS, you have the the payments. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then you have the App Store upgrade. App Store upgrade. I'm using the new iOS version. I saw the upgrade. Ah, uh, I don't know. I have to use it more. Because I'm not one of those constant, obsessive checking the app store for new apps. Yeah. When I hear about a new app coming out, I just go and download it. Right. So, the discovery bit of it doesn't I, I, really I think it's pushing that too much on some persons. It might come out as pretty annoying. Right. I think yeah. the interface is really big. Yeah. So, people who like this card size, just show me some bunch of lists where I can go in and grab might not appreciate the new app store. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how it goes. They try yeah. to use the the design language of Apple Music across the OS. So the you can see those little refinements inside of the OS. Yeah. So outside of the app store, what else um, they there? also upgraded the, the camera. I think that's the camera app that's probably a significant feature. Yeah. Um the standard is now it used to be H two six four I think. I know, H265? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I might get that wrong, I'm not sure. But yeah. <laughs> they they upgrade the standard so like that the two pictures. Six five. 265? Yes. Okay, two okay. Six right, so they update the format so that the picture sizes would be smaller. Right, right. And so your 4K videos and 4K pictures would take up less space on the right. 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 That's pretty right. Good. I appreciate that upgrade. You you still will be able to do the same sharing, yeah. so nothing is affected. Uh, mm -hmm. So we should okay. okay. So they also improved the the photos app. Yes. Um, yeah, they did some redesigning and so forth, and they also give you an upgrade to the what you call it the live photos, so you right. can make some filters and edits and so forth. So you could do this something like Instagram boomerang. Yeah, back and forth. Single back and forth. Yeah. Um, you could do rewind. Rewind. You yeah. could do long exposure. Yeah, that's oh, cool. Though. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, that, that was cool. That was cool. cool. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that, what else did you upgrade? It honestly, I am using iOS eleven, and I don't know. It just it doesn't feel like this odd shattering update to me. Uh, the control center was upgraded, so you have instead of having the three different um, windows or two everything in one everything is in one i thought that looked ugly though it looked ugly but if you look at it on the phone here mm -hmm. it doesn't look so bad does it yeah. it looks cluttered ish yeah but it that 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 is more. i think that's in beta <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it grew it grew on me like, when i saw it first mm -hmm. i did like it when I use it on the phone, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, I, I think that's so, okay. so, so bad. Okay. One thing that kind of threw me, threw me for a loop is they change the notification shade and make it into the lock screen, which <coughs> kind of strange. So every time you pull out the notification lock screen, shade, it goes back to the lock screen. Okay. That kind of strange to me. Okay. I don't know 
don't know. I don't know how it sits with me, really. I, I'll, I'll so, yeah. keep using that if it, it affects me anyway. Yeah. So, that is iOS? That's iOS. Okay, let's switch over to the iPad now for iOS. Uh, iPad Pro upgrades to iOS. So, first, they introduced a new iPad. And again? Yes, a bigger version. So, they take it away. 9.7 inch and introducing a 10.5 inch iPad. Very good screens. Something that they did, they, uh, they upgraded the, the screen refresh yeah. to 120. They went from 60 to 120, 120 yeah. which I find pretty cool. Yeah, can't complain about that. Can't complain. Mm-hmm. So they made the like stuff like um, the Apple Pencil. Mm-hmm. They have a new industry standard of 20 milliseconds. Yeah. Uh, um, um, Updated. Yeah, they also did something fancy with the pencil, similar to what Microsoft did with the push button at the top. Uh-huh. You tap the screen with the pencil right, and it brings up the, the notes. Right. Yeah. Which is kind yeah, of cool. That's, cool. that's cool. But yeah. the big updates is the dock, something like the back, back OS dock. Mm-hmm. So you could also swipe on the bottom to get your, your, your apps that you have docked. Yeah. You can now do three apps multitasking. Okay. So you could do split screen and a floated application, mm-hmm. drag and drop. Yeah, that, that's probably a major which, one. Which is yeah. pretty cool. Drag and drop, yeah. Drag and drop, uh, yeah, of course, a picture in picture. Yeah. yeah, they also had the files app as well, right. where you can view all the files, on your system. similar to File Explorer Windows. Right. Yeah. So you have a new file system explorer, which is it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that's like, needed. That was needed. <laughs> I was I wondering why, 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 why not have it, but now they yeah. seem to have seen the light. Mm-hmm. Strange enough, I don't think Android comes natively with a file explorer. It doesn't. It's a it doesn't. You could yeah. get a file explorer through a third party, but natively, mm-hmm. Android doesn't come with a file explorer. I never, I never noticed that. Yeah, but you could, in, I, I, I don't know, they just never include it. Okay. But in that, in that a case where you can't get a mm-hmm. file explorer. So people now will get yes file explorer or whatever yeah. it is. But now iOS comes native with a file explorer plus you could add all of your online storage yeah, that's to the files. file explorer. Yeah. yeah. So for me, the bigger update to iOS was more the tablet side of it. Okay. iOS on a phone, it feels like uh, just <laughs> like a Sunday morning upgrade. iOS on a tablet. Yeah. It actually feels like a very big update. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's next? Um, we also have the MacBooks and the iMacs. Okay. Um, early incremental upgrades, faster processor, newest Intel. Uh-huh. Um, Cabinet. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, the big. Brightest, the, brightest screens. Oh, um, uh, always brightest screens. But the big, the big talker talk is going to be the iMac Pro. With the static price of <laughs> five thousand, <laughs> but it is a beast. It's a, it it's a, beast. a beast. It, it is. is. It is. And I feel like it's. I I, I want to see the, the reviews of this, this this device, but I feel like if Apple took it personal, when everybody <laughs> say they stop making pro level devices, so they have some crazy specs. Yeah. All black. I know MKBHD. He's so. going to love this because <laughs> he loves black black and mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of space gray design. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. So that's coming out in December. Yeah. So yeah, no problem for that. All right. And um, you got to touch the Mac OS? Mac OS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't give him any name though. Hi, Siri. Hi, Siri. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Sierra. I'm wondering if these people are high when they <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! But it, it, it was funny when they announced it. I did have a good laugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Small changes. Very small. I get it. Similar to the iOS. As well. Honestly, I am envious of Windows. <laughs> Windows <laughs> upgrades feel like upgrades. Upgrades. But here's my gripe: when Apple introduced the tablet, the tablet was supposed to be this new computing platform. We're gonna shift over from. Top, top, they have laptops over to tablets, blah 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 blah. But they never made the tablet very powerful. Mm-hmm. It was more fun, you know, consume content rather than create content. Mm-hmm. 
and we have seen that the tablet sales have been dropping significantly every year, every single year. But the laptops are getting very good sales. Yeah. So it, it, it's confusing to me. Why would you put so much effort into pushing the boundaries of iOS and not push the boundaries of macOS? If you see the tablet is not actually replacing the Mac, why have this high Sierra base upgrade? I think some focus needs to be shifted back over to Mac OS and really, really push the boundaries there. But what are the upgrades to in Mac OS? High Sierra. Oh, High Sierra. Um, mm, they talk about metal. Right. Yeah. Metal. metal. So I, I can't explain that. You need to develop. So I think the, the focus. I, I think the focus for metal is uh, VR. VR. Okay. VR and graphics. VR and graphics. So we push the boundaries for graphics. And I think they're really trying to get into the VR and the AR. Yeah, augmented reality. Yeah, yeah. And, and virtual reality. Make it possible so that persons with their current models could experience the same AR right. experiences. Yeah, they won't be left out. Exactly. So I think that's what the metal is all about. Yeah, metal okay. is really heavily focused on VR. Okay. And you saw the demo with um, the. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was pretty cool. That was, that was cool. cool demo. The yeah. Star Wars yeah. VR experience. Yeah. That was sick. That was really sick. That was mm -hmm. really sick. Right. And then they switch it over to the new file system. Yeah. So stuff's supposed to be quite both zippy yeah. on back home. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that is. That, that's the upgrade to back mm -hmm. at High Sierra. <laughs> High Sierra. <laughs> Yeah, so um, they all touched on the watch OS. Yes. Uh, small upgrades. Small upgrades. Just the faces, basically. Watch faces. And um, Siri, new interface. The Siri watch face. Mm -hmm. So you can see like what's coming up next on your calendar or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. um, this weird, like your, when you are on LSD kind of vibe watch face <laughs> with all this. <laughs> weird. Yeah. And it's kind of weird. And yeah. the Toy Story. Watch face, uh, yeah. No. Yeah, but that, that, that's that's about it with the OS. Oh, and the integration with your gym equipment. Right, you could sync with the gym equipment yeah. to see um, yeah, the time and your calories, mm -hmm. both and so. Yeah. And uh, one more thing, you could have multiple workouts. Multiple workouts. They could also add music to your workouts. Right, 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 right. right. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, I think we touched on most things. The, oh, the operating system upgrades. Right. Yeah, I think, yeah. And they introduced a new product. A new product. Yeah. Right. Drum what's, roll. What's the new product? <laughs> it's the, what do they call it? The home, home pod. Home pod. I've just said that a few times. <laughs> home pod. So you have the iPod mm -hmm. and the home pod. Yeah. Now, I thought this was a reaction to Amazon's Alexa platform. Yeah. But they went a totally different route. But I knew Apple would not introduce something less than $200. In my heart, I knew it was not going to pay less than $200. So I, I feel like if to price it higher, they focus on music. Yeah. Like the quality of the yes. song. Mm -hmm. So they made a big play about the quality of the song so they can be able to price it a bit higher than everything else. Yeah. This this was made by Beats. I don't think they said that, but you, 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 you can rest the show Beats had a big influence on this. Yeah. The, the, the amount of time they talk about the music and the subwoofers, the speakers around mm -hmm. it. Yeah. It's this Basically, for music. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, a music. it's a music. It's like it's a music you talk about the music, and then the virtual assistant they just yeah. casually mention it. Oh, by the way, by the Siri way. is integrated right. as well. Yeah. So, so yeah. the Amazon, um, the Amazon Alexa product was one seventy nine. Is one seventy nine? Google Home, I think, is one thirty, and the Home Pod. Is three hundred and forty nine dollars. Yeah. That is a huge gap. Huge, a huge gap. I will. That's coming in December. We just have to see how that product 
actually yeah. start up. Yep. Yeah. So, so guys, that that's it for that's it. WWDC 2017. Uh, yeah. You can tell us what you think about it. Yeah. We, we just shared our thoughts. It was pretty. It was, nice. it, was, <laughs> it had a few good things in there, but overall, it wasn't. I don't. I don't. There's, I, I don't think there was anything complicated. Yeah. What stands out to me is the iPad upgrades. I would love to see if people gravitate more to the iPad. Let's see the sales um, coming next quarter. And see if people are pushing towards it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't. So that, that's your that's I your big point. Yeah, the yeah, iPad was the biggest thing for me. I okay. did and the iMac Pro. Okay. The iMac Pro look like a beast. Alright. Yeah. yeah. For for me it would be like you said, at the five thousand dollar starting point. <laughs> <laughs> iMac Pro. Also the changes to the the uh, picture format, mm -hmm. the H two six five format. Two. Two, two, six, <laughs> oh my, why, 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 <laughs> yeah, the two six five format, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, that, that's that's basically oh, and files, so the files, yeah, system. the file system, that's that's basically it. All right, yeah. So join us next time for another episode of Techno Blog, and uh, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Yeah, that, that's a wrap. <laughs> Thank you.